For the first time, the 911 calls in the moments after LeBron James' son, Bronny James, a basketball star himself. The news shocked the whole NBA world. Expected at the 2024 NBA Draft, LeBron James' eldest son, Bronny James, suffered a cardiac arrest during training on Tuesday with the University of Southern California. You've probably heard of LeBron James, the legendary basketball superstar, but his son, Bronny, also makes waves in the basketball world. It was a moment that left fans, players, and coaches in shock and ignited discussions about the potential risks athletes face. But what exactly happened to this young talent on the court? Let's find out. In high school with his Sierra Canyon team, Bronny had a disappointing season. However, he was selected for the McDonald's All-American Game, the equivalent of the All-Star for high school students, where he scored 15 points from behind the arc. In the aftermath, he committed to the USC University team, on paper, he will be eligible for the 2024 NBA Draft, and LeBron James, 38, has repeatedly said that he wants to play one last season alongside his son. Today, this dream may be compromised. Several college players have experienced heart problems in recent years. At USC, Vince Iwuchukwu had two, collapsed at practice last summer. The doctors had initially declared him finished for basketball, but the pivot was able to resume competition with the pacemaker. In 2018, one of Shaquille O'Neal's sons, Sharif, had undergone open-heart surgery to repair his coronary artery. After a long recovery, he joined the NBA G League Ignite team last year. But there are also NBA players who have experienced this kind of tragedy. Like Reggie Lewis, he was a talented fullback for the Boston Celtics. He was known for his excellent defense and accurate shooting. Unfortunately, his career was abruptly interrupted in 1993, when during a summer training session, he collapsed on the field due to a heart attack. His death was a shock for the basketball community, and he was remembered as one of the promising players of his generation. Or Fred Hoiberg, also nicknamed the Mayor, was an all-around player who played for several NBA teams. In 2005, while playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves, he suffered a heart attack during a game. Fortunately, he made a full recovery after a successful medical procedure and returned to the field afterwards. After his playing career, Hoiberg became a coach and managed several NBA teams. Let's go back to the case of Bronny. At this stage, it is impossible to know if Bronny James will play basketball again at a high level. A cardiologist interviewed by the LA Times, however, considers it encouraging that he was released from intensive care after less than 24 hours. Bronny James, the 18-year-old son of NBA legend LeBron James after suffering this heart attack, fortunately, early reports suggest positive developments in his health as confirmed by Dr. Gian Corrado, the head team physician for Northeastern Athletics. On Tuesday, Bronny's parents shared that he had been moved out of the intensive care unit and was now in stable condition. This swift recovery and the transfer out of the ICU were considered highly promising indicators for successful recovery, as emphasized by Dr. Corrado. The immediate attention from the medical staff on the scene likely played a crucial role in this positive outcome. Dr. Corrado further explains that the speed at which a patient improves after a cardiac arrest is crucial. When someone experiences cardiac arrest and suffers from a lack of blood flow to the brain, they may experience various mental status changes. The time spent in an unconscious state can significantly impact their prognosis. As the young 6-foot 3-inch guard continues his recovery, the basketball community and fans worldwide hope for his continued improvement. The incident serves as a reminder of the importance of prompt medical response during emergencies and highlights the significance of athlete health and well-being. In the event of a cardiac arrest, such as the one experienced by Bronny James, Immediate medical attention and intervention can make all the difference between life and death. Dr. Gian Corrado, an expert in emergency sports medicine, stresses the importance of having well-trained physicians on the sidelines during sporting events. Their quick and decisive actions can significantly impact the outcome of such emergencies. Responding to a cardiac arrest is carefully choreographed to maximize the chances of survival. Dr. Corrado explains that the first step is rapidly recognizing the distressing situation Medical personnel are trained to swiftly identify when a player is in distress and requires immediate medical attention. Once the distress is identified, medical teams are equipped with an Automatic External Defibrillator, or AED, a crucial life-saving device. The AED is designed to analyze the heart's rhythm and determine if a shock is needed to restore a normal heartbeat. Suppose the device detects an abnormal rhythm or no heartbeat. In that case, it will administer a controlled electric shock to the heart, which can, in many cases, effectively reset the heart's electrical system and allow it to beat usually again. Alongside using the AED, immediate cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is initiated. 
CPR is a series of chest compressions and rescue breaths that help maintain blood circulation and oxygen supply to vital organs. Until advanced medical support arrives, Dr. Corrado's experience as a director of emergency sports medicine at Massachusetts General Hospital and his role with Northeastern Athletics underscores the importance of preparedness for potential medical emergencies during high-stakes sporting events. The medical teams work tirelessly to ensure they are well-trained and equipped to respond swiftly to any unforeseen situations that may arise. Bronnie James's incident is a reminder of the significance of athlete health and safety. It also highlights the critical need for not only well-trained medical personnel, but also the presence of life-saving devices, such as AEDs in sports arenas and public places. By having these resources readily available, we can better safeguard the well-being of athletes and spectators alike. According to a CAS Distinguished Professor and Director of the Center for Interdisciplinary Research on Complex Systems at a university, predicting cardiac arrest events can be challenging. With approximately 300,000 deaths per year in the U.S. attributed to sudden cardiac arrest, extensive research has been conducted to prevent such tragedies. However, the complexity of the condition lies in its various underlying causes. At Bronnie James's age, the possibility of hardening of the arteries obstructing blood flow seems less likely, as explained by Dr. Karma. Instead, other potential factors may come into play, such as an enlarged heart or irregularities in the heart electrical system. Karma's research focuses on understanding the fundamental mechanisms of cardiac arrhythmias. He points out that genetic abnormalities, also known as channelopathies, can disrupt the proper functioning of proteins, ion channels, responsible for controlling the heart's electrical activity. These genetic irregularities can sometimes lead to sudden life-threatening heart rhythms. Furthermore, equipping sports arenas, gyms, schools, and public places with automated external defibrillators remains critical in enhancing emergency response capabilities. As witnessed in Bronnie James's case, the timely availability of defibrillators can be the difference between life and death, providing a crucial lifeline during cardiac emergencies. Therefore, promoting wider accessibility to AEDs in public spaces should be a top priority. Moreover, sharing stories of successful recoveries, like Vincent Iwuchukwu's return to the basketball court after overcoming cardiac arrest, can inspire hope and encourage athletes to be vigilant about their health. These stories demonstrate that athletes can recover fully and return to the sports they love with appropriate medical attention, timely interventions, and support. As we move forward, we should focus on cultivating a culture of athlete health and safety, where early intervention, continuous education, and state-of-the-art medical resources are at the forefront of sports management. By emphasizing preventative care and investing in athletes' well-being, we can create a safer environment for athletes to thrive and pursue their passions. Public awareness campaigns can also play a significant role in disseminating crucial information about heart health and recognizing warning signs. By empowering athletes, coaches, parents, and communities with knowledge about the potential risks and appropriate responses to cardiac events, we can collectively work to reduce the incidence of sudden cardiac arrest in sports. The insights shared by experts like Dr. Gian Corrado and Elaine Karma shed light on the complexities of cardiac arrhythmias and the need for extensive preventative measures. Screening for potential heart issues, enhancing emergency response capabilities through the availabilities of defibrillators, and educating medical teams are all essential steps in safeguarding athletes' well-being. Bronny James's incident has ignited a call to action, urging us to continue pushing for advancements in athlete safety. This extends beyond the basketball court to all sports, irrespective of age, skill level, or playing environment. By advocating for comprehensive health protocols and fostering a culture of openness regarding heart health, we can work together to reduce the incidence of sudden cardiac events and save lives. Bronny James's cardiac arrest was a terrifying moment that shook the NBA community. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's spread awareness and help make the sports world safer for all athletes. And wait, I have a last question for you. Do you think this incident will have an impact on Bronny's draft choice? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching and take care, my friends.